So I got this table from Goodwill and it is fine. It's not that pretty, it's not that ugly, it's just fine. I really wanna make it into something special though. And I don't know if you've seen, but cane is all the rage on furniture right now. And I really wanna give it a try, but this table cost me like five bucks. And so I'm not all that excited about going and spending a fortune on cane. So instead, I'm gonna try it with something similar. Let's see how it goes. So I'm going to start by taking off these panels. I have some pry bars and a hammer right here. I'll probably also grab some pliers, but crossing my fingers, that's all I'm going to need. I'm really hoping it's not going to be that difficult, even one-handed, because it's already coming apart in some places. So let's see. So these first two panels in the front came off really easily, and even the staples holding these other ones on were coming off without much effort. However, these other panels, turns out, are inside of a groove. That's not great, but the good news is I think I can get this top off and then I can just pull the panels out. So I'm going to try that and we'll see how it goes. So this was not what I anticipated happening, but that's okay. I am perfectly capable of putting this back together. So let's go. So in just a second, I am going to spray paint all of these pieces. I'm using cheapo spray paint because this is a budget project. So crappy spray paint is going to have to do. Um, it is black. I think white would look nice too, but I didn't bring that. So black is what we got. So while the spray paint dries, I'm gonna start on the inserts. My plan is to take an insert and glue burlap to it. Now, in the past, I've used a cornstarch and water mixture, which really you just boil water, add some cornstarch and put it on, which is awesome and easy. And if you have nothing else in the house, it's the way to go. If you didn't know you could do that, go ahead, hit the like button. Today though, I'm feeling really lazy. I don't wanna to have to go mix up water and cornstarch. So I'm just gonna use Mod Podge, which works perfectly well too. All right, so the burlap is all on the panels. It actually used more Mod Podge than I was expecting. I was actually kind of regretting not going with the cornstarch because the cornstarch is like a dollar and the Mod Podge is like seven. And it used basically the whole thing of the Mod Podge, but that's okay. It's on, it's good to go, we're going to be fine. So next up is the top. I'm going to sand this down, probably starting with a 40 grit sandpaper just to get all of the finish off. And then I'll work my way up 60, 80, 120, 180. That'll make it really nice and smooth. Um, if you hate sanding and you're like, oh, what a mess, get a really good sander. I love my sander. It just goes very quickly. I used to have a terrible sander and yeah, I hated sanding then too. So I finished sanding it and now I'm just thinking about what I want to do to finish it. I really want to keep it light, so I don't think I'm going to stain it at all. Instead, I just tested two different polyurethanes, a water-based polyurethane and an oil-based polyurethane. And oil-based polyurethane gives a little bit more of a tint to the wood than water-based does. And I think I really like how this oil-based looks. Um, so obviously I did my test on the back side of it, um, the underside. And so I'm going to flip this back over. I am going to put the oil-based polyurethane on and then I will be almost done. All I'll have left is to assemble. All right, so I finished putting the first coat of poly on the top and I think it looks pretty good, but I'm trying not to get too excited about it because man, have I had projects where I thought it looked great halfway through and then it was a disaster. So. So far so good, but not gonna count my chickens before they hatch. So it's the next morning. I played around a bit with assembly last night before I went to bed and it did not go that well. Mostly because the burlap adds some thickness to these boards and so now they no longer fit in the slots. 
So what I'm gonna do before I assemble is go through and just sand down the edges a bit um, in hopes of making that edge bit just a little bit skinnier so it slides right in and assembly is easy. So everything's assembled and that was by far the hardest part. Nothing wanted to align right and eventually I had to go get my dad to help me because one hand was just not enough, especially when it came to putting the top on. Either way, we did it, it's done. I'm super excited about how it looks so far. I still have to put the front on, but I'm really optimistic that that will be easy because you know, it's, it's just a hinge, right? Crossing my fingers. Um, but either way, I'm super excited about how it turned out. That's a bird, sorry. Super excited about how it turned out and I'm excited to see the final product. So if you're wondering what I'm going to do with this, I'm probably going to sell it. There is a flea market that happens right down the street from here. And while I'm not dedicated enough to actually get a spot in the flea market, um, a lot of people walk by on their way to the market. So I'm thinking I'll just put this out maybe with a sign that says 40-ish dollars. Um, if nobody bites, I'll take it down to 20 um, and hopefully someone will take it. I know a lot of people flip for profit on the internet. I am not one of those people. I just want to make my money back, um, especially since I'm not totally confident when we were putting it back together and it had a hard time going back together. I'm a little worried it's not going to stay together long term. $20, I don't feel so bad if it breaks on them in a couple years. $100, I'd start feeling a bit guilty. If I ever talk about what it sells for, I will put a link to that video right up there. In the meantime, check out my cedar chest makeover. It is one of my favorites and I absolutely loved how it turned out. Thanks and I'll see you next time.